Salutations everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Battlefleet Gothic Armada. I'm your host, Brainboy20, where we had last left off. We had failed the Emperor on two separate fronts against traitors to the Imperium, as systems start rebelling because of our failure to the bloody orcs and the admittedly little bit cheaty AI, as they somehow knew where the transport ships were and ignored the main fleet entirely. And it still ticks me off that they apparently knew this. Uh, I didn't notice it until I looked into post-production, which was annoying. But anyway, we used up both our turns, so our deployments, so we kind of have to wait. But I am going to use my Renown first in Port Maw to see if I can do anything. And I'm also going to level up both those ships just a little bit further. Because, well, let's, ju let's just try to not. Uh, you have another crew point, right? Oh, no, you don't? Well, I mean, I guess. Now, back to the Gothic Sector. There's not really much I can do. I can't really upgrade anything. I'm going to try the strategy of actually using the macro batteries more, because I believe those are actually better than the prow lances, because I assumed heavy prow lances did a lot of damage, but I didn't realize until halfway through that it's the macro batteries that actually did stuff, which was annoying. Attack is the secret of defense. Defense is the planning of an attack. Lord Admiral Ravensburg believes that we can learn something of our enemy's strategy by infiltrating a Chaos Command ship recently identified by Inquisitor Horst's agents. I am to find this ship, board it, and bring back any clues I can find about the invader's plans. Now is my chance to ensure their faith in me was not misplaced. Well, I can say for certain that Admiral they Spire, were so I am assigning you a mission of great importance. A formidable chaos fleet is massing for an attack. Inquisitor Horst's agents have identified the enemy flagship and confirmed that it contains vital information about our enemy's intentions. Lord Admiral, by placing me in command of a fleet, you have offered me a great opportunity. To prove myself worthy of your trust, I will capture this enemy vessel and any plans it contains for the honor of the Imperial Navy. I am so sorry for you, Admiral. So bloody sorry, because I doubt we're going to succeed this mission. In fact, we've lost another Shrine World. This is still a bit annoying that I can't actually see either of these, but I'm guessing it's more of like my screen resolution, and I have to get a different monitor for this, and I don't feel like doing that just yet. Anyway, data recovery. Data recovery missions involve a ship containing sensible data for the factions of the conflict as they try to get the edge on their opponents through it. Seize the data by assault action and disengage with it. Disengage with the data. Or the defender just needs to disengage with the data. Interesting. Um, let's see, what do the other ones look like? We're getting attacked in three separate locations with convoy and a cruiser clash. Well, I kind of have to take this mission now. Spire, we've confirmed the presence of the Chaos flagship. The Inquisitor's agents inform us that this vessel is only lightly defended. You must recover any information about the enemy's plans from that ship. Once that task is complete, you are ordered to destroy the heretic vessel and remind these foul traitors the price of betraying the immortal Emperor. Well, I, I'm going to say this now, Ravensburg. Your faith in me was misplaced, because we are definitely going to lose this. For the glory of chaos, of course. Let's begin. Because I think... Oh, God, isn't our ship still lost in the warp? Oh, thank goodness. Thank freaking... Goodness. Oh, that's my mistake. This one doesn't have the heavy prow lance. Only this one does. That's actually really annoying. I didn't realize that. And anyway, we have 86 points remaining. What will just eat people? Who has more macro turrets? Honestly, I'm just going to take the Firestorm frigates because those seemed to be useful last time. And now to go fight Chaos. Only I had more line ships. Begin. Admiral, your fleet has reached the Chaos flagship's last known position. It is vitally important that you capture the enemy's plans from that vessel. Everything is nothing but a lie. He will not even know of your sacrifice. 
Alliance. You turned away from the Emperor's light, traitor, and forever sealed your fate. Very well, Admiral Lapdog. Okay, we're just gonna go with a middling position here. If only the middling position because they are most likely in the middle. So, time before disengagement is available, so it's three minutes. We have three minutes to hunt down, destroy the enemy flagship. I'm guessing we wanna kill off any of the escorts first so we have the maximum damage possible while well, having my two main ships do assault action after assault actions to recover the data. Sir, one of our ships must board the target to seize the plans. Old troops have been briefed about a potential location of the plans on the enemy ship. Just bring us in a boarding range and we will do our duty. Immediately. Let's see, what type of support are you bringing with you? Actually, we're also going to do the smart thing. Ready. You're much better in close range. You have the heavy prow lance, but that's not as good at the... The sad thing is, is it's not as good as the light macro batteries. Because, actually, no, I think it's six times nine. But, nah, this is confusing right now. Cause... Mm. I think the heavy prow lance is actually better on you. So we will put you as the main, like battling a ship, but you yes, will remain Admiral. stationary and go circling around them. You will... No, do not circle counterclockwise. We're not going to have our ships literally ram into each other. Yes, that would actually be counterclockwise. I was correct for once. And in this case, I'm actually going to want to have you aim no, just... your torpedoes just slightly in, like, the different direction, speed things up. Resuming normal function. Meltas. We're gonna have some fire drop on them. And I see that chaos ship. Okay, you two go and take out. No, no. You chase them down? No, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go try to. These two will go and just tie up this vessel for a while. Let's go kill off any support ones first. All ahead full. Alright. That's actually probably a bad idea. So, so far they have the Slaughter Cruiser. Cruiser Slaughter. Slaughter McSlaughterson, apparently. But what else rhymes with slaughter? Uh, what, how can you spell laughter without slaughter? It's the other way around, you moron. I know. Uh, you know what, you're gonna focus. Yes, you are going to torpedo. Because it's in the perfect position to miss entirely. But we're just going to broadside these two and hopefully finish them off. This one, there's no real way to target them specifically, is there? And they're going to try boarding actions. We can lose the frigates. I'm just going to have them pepper it for a while. But as it stands... Board? Oh, of course the boarding fails. Targeting enemy vessel. Well, in this case, lock on and do a little bit of a burn so we can get our actual shots going off on it. Uh, you can just do an emergency repair. No, no, no. Uh, because we've got them overpowered so heavily, we're just going to hunt them down. And this is actually a significantly easier mission. Also, focus the engine so it can't run away. No, 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 I'm an idiot, I'm an idiot. I didn't realize how much time we had. Full burn, full burn, no. This is an easy mission. I completely ignored the main objective. Full speed ahead. Your orders? Because they're trying to do the exact same thing. So full burn, chase it down now. You have torpedoes, correct? You're going to fire off the melt- uh, You're going to fire off the torpedoes through them. Helm coordinates acknowledged. Greg was a retard, don't mind me. Well, he still can't run, but I think he was stunned. Generators, weapons are increased. Cruising speed set. The enemy ship is trying to warp out with the objective. This is our last chance! Board well, it. nope, this is me being stupid. Resuming normal functions. And you can't boost on ahead. We have eight seconds, but that's about it. 
Yeah. This is me being brilliant, by the way. Back to their operations base and wipe it out. No, I'm just an intelligent human being who can't realize what is going on. Perhaps I'm not as good as I thought I was at RTSs. Ah, oh, well. Let's fix this now by making sure we don't lose this next mission by actually following the objective. You've disappointed me. Yes, Spider. you. Di I disappointed you. <sighs> All right, let's at least try something. This is a convoy mission. Carrying important resources, convoy route takes them through the system, so it's ripe for us to attack. Which world is better to try to claim back? The hive world and portal worlds. Reduce each portal world loss reduces the chance of bonus deployments by ten percent, but I haven't gotten any other bonus deployments aside from the ones I've currently got. So I guess we'll try Blotter. Alright. So let's try to follow the objective, shall we? And we have a strategy for actually killing stuff, and didn't I get two of them? Or did it just not accept my input? I don't think it accepted my input. I think it just said no, you're not getting the other ship. Yeah, that's exactly what it- look, I'm glad. This is just a late non-stop train of failures. Why? And, well, I don't get to know where they spawn them. I only have one firestorm this time around, because it just... Alright, so... Oh, no, we do know where the transports are. And I guess we're actually going to head straight to this one... You can send out your auger probe. We'll just figure out what exactly we're fighting this time around. At your command. Now basically make a full turn. Understood. We're going to just before they reach the escape zone. You can go on target this one. We are the Imperial Navy. Whereas you two will have your Awaiting objectives orders. since you have the heavy prow lance. You will of course go with frontal engage close range. You will cycle around the left Lord side is... always, but macro battery. Wait, don't you have two heavy prow? What is going on here? No, because you have ship torpedoes. Ready. You don't have prow lance. Enemy ship sighted. Yes, Admiral. Since you have the heavy prow lance, you will instead go and engage with this one. What does your torpedo Target look like? In. A little bit slightly. Engines hot. Because it's very weird to try to aim this thing. And we missed. Oh, you've been identified, so we might as well full burn forward. Oh, please tell me we're gonna ram. Please tell me we're gonna do a ram here. And of course, this boarding party was successful. No, no, no. Oh, yeah, because you're actually... Utilizing a full acquiring new vector. Can you not set can you not board this? Oh now you can. And you still fail because you're all fantastic indiv individuals here. Like I complain about this so often, but it still annoys the heck out of me that they have so they fail so often. No really? Really now. And you're gonna... Orders received. This is my bigger issue, because these side missions do more damage to Any me. Transport ship destroyed. Oh, is the transport... Did the transport ship escape? No, no, it actually is near death. But your objective is to get out of here, now. Initiate emergency repairs. Why are their strikes always so successful? Yes, Admiral. Can the firestorm... Full speed ahead, because they are not yet at their escape objective. You can't warp out, not yet anyway. 
But if we can kill off their objective, we just win yes, here and now. All ahead, full. And this full speed ahead should allow us to lightning strike soon, which is exactly what I'm looking for. Come on. Cruising speed set. Okay, you can no longer command. torpedo, but we're getting close. Changing course. Engaging. Cruising oh, do you have to boarding set. action? Uh, why aren't you moving? Engines hot. Understood. Are they going to escape? Oh no, he's actually taking damage now. I don't know, I'm not locking on either. Course plotted. Awaiting orders. Let's see if we can get out of here. That's all I can hope for. Because these two chaos ships are going to just broadside him. Ship ready. Imperial yep. ship destroyed. As figured. I have a humongous issue because we'll be able to destroy this transport soon, and that's all I'm looking for. Oh gosh, get out of there. Your orders. Setting course. For the and Emperor. finally a success. Oh my gosh, that was a long time coming. <sighs> finally a single freaking success. Although I should have won the last mission. I was just being a moron that time around. And that time I will admit it. But finally, fool the Emperor, we have a victory. In an RPG where the victories give you your benefits. <sighs> but I have to repair the Keeper of Defiance, which is about as fun as it sounds. Anyway, let's continue. Anyway, so ramming is a manual action. I learned that from this. We were able to get back Bladen. We got back one of the worlds we lost. So, with the renown we finally have, let's go to Port Maw, fix up one of our ships that have been so heavily damaged we're not able to... Ugh. Keep her defiance. We'll do a priority repair here and see what else can be used. Now, can you actually be upgraded further? No, because you don't have any more slots available. I'd love to get another Dauntless Cruiser, but I would like to basically have any one of the ships to join me in battle. Although I can't really see what their weapons are. So the Lunar Class is an actual plasma macro battery. I'm assuming rate of fire of 12, meaning it's a very rapid fire weapon with a very high range. And crit chance doesn't seem as high as other weapons. And only one attack salvo, but also high macro batteries, which is less range, but even more so. And you have a prow heavy torpedo launcher, which is pier shield piercing and tiny target. Oh, that's a tyrant. The lunar has lance batteries. Instead, instead of our heavy prow lances, and then you have the prow torpedoes. So the gothic is primarily. Lances upon lances with some torpedoes. All of these have torpedoes. That's actually kind of annoying. I'd like something other than that. I mean, the Nova Cannon seems like it'd be great. But I think I'm instead going to sit around and be patient with my choice. Because I just need to really make stuff actually work for me. Because the Firestorms currently cannot be upgraded in any way, shape, or form. Let's just go to the Gothic Sector and see what happens. Because they were all lost in the warp for one turn. Without the information from the enemy flagship, our own deployments are scattered far and wide. The enemy has adopted a hit-and-run strategy against many of our positions throughout the Gothic sector. Due to the confusion from these harassing attacks, the resupply teams of the Adeptus Mechanicus on Port Moor are overwhelmed. For now, you are authorized for only one deployment with your fleet, Admiral Spire. I have ill news, Lord Admiral. We have just received a message from the planetary governor of Purgatory, an important imperial world in the Aura subsector. Transcribing this message 
cost us the life of one of our astropaths. Chaos forces have landed on the planet. There are too many. The enemy has broken through every defense. The heretics got what they came for. A powerful relic for the hand of darkness. They're here. Oh! The existence of the hand of darkness was only known to a few inquisitors and the governor himself. It is an ancient artifact of great power, and we must not allow Abaddon to use it against us. Lord Admiral, we have to retrieve this artifact at once, for the safety of the Gothic Sector. Agreed. Admiral Spire, I am dispatching you and your fleet to stop the Chaos ships from escaping from Purgatory with the Hand of Darkness. Recover it at all costs. Why are you asking me to do it? I'm useless if you haven't figured it out, mate. Anyway, breakthroughs involve a blockade in a part of space that is critical to keep a system under control. So that defensive platforms materialize the choke point of the conflict. Destroy defense platform. The attacker destroyed the defense platform and gets line ships across the map. Destroy enough line enemy line ships or hold long enough. I think this time around, I kind of want like what is the the Chaos Fleet has regrouped and is heading for the edge of the Purgatory System to enter the warp. Admiral Spire, you must stop the enemy fleet from retreating and recover the artifact the heretics snatched from the planet. Lord Admiral, the best way to accomplish these goals would be to put a blockade around the entire system. Indeed. I've already given that order, and multiple battle groups are en route to the Purgatory System as we speak. I've commanded the battle groups to form the blockade in the Chaos Fleet's path to keep them from entering the warp. Understood, Lord Admiral. I am ready to sail out and meet the enemy. And ready to die horribly, so let's go once again. Hopefully we don't bloody six fail at every story mission. Although I think no matter what we do, Abaddon is guaranteed to succeed in this. Avenger. The Keeper of Defiance. Two Firestorm frigates, because screw you, buddy, for not letting me take the other one last time. I didn't need it, and I need to hold on to these defenses, so basically figure out what... Admiral Spire, the Imperial Navy has set up a blockade around the Purgatory in order to trap the Chaos Fleet and recover the Relic. Some additional defense platforms have been deployed in the region to reinforce the blockade. Admiral, the defense platform has been fitted with warp inhibitors, which can disable the warping capacity of the enemy ships. Every Chaos Vessel must be destroyed before it can reach the edge of the system and escape our wrath. Well, we have to defend the two platforms, so I guess in this case we basically plant ourselves in the middle and attack whatever gets near us. And I'm sorry if it seems like I'm cutting myself off more often than not before I explain anything, but I kind of want to get this over with because I've failed so bloody often already. I was considering actually buying one of the bigger ships, but since we're still limited to 300 points, I'm not going to bother. So, what do these platforms state? Okay, they have invulnerability, the others do not. We know that they're yes, in this general Admiral. location, so we're actually going to auger probe this one. I'm curious what's in this general direction. The others, we're going to head out to meet that one. Your orders? In this battle group? No. Actually, everyone turn orders around. Received. We're going to be patient. Let them come to... Uh, no, we've had this situation last time. We had the situation last time. Letting them come to us leads to our demise. Everyone turn and burn. Do not fall into the bomb. Alright, we've got some vessels to hit. They're already dropping stasis bombs, of all things. Let's see if we can hit these two smaller ones first. But it looks like you're going to be hit by the stasis bombs. Admiral Spire, the defense platforms are under attack. We need your fleet's protection to stop the Chaos fleet from breaking through. Well, our fleet isn't the greatest, considering our failures prevent us from being upgraded. And you're getting lanced, so in this case, I'm actually going to... No, don't ram the station. Hop on over here, we need you to go kill off one of their light cruisers, because those are actually doing the most damage. Because instead, I need you to turn around and go target this one, because they're still advancing it. 
Actually, no. There's a, there's a smaller one in this general direction. Your objective is to go kill off that. No. I don't know why you keep turning around. Because I want the two line ships to battle the line ships. Void shield. Ignore damage for a while. We are the Imperial Navy. Actually. Changing course. Oh, we can't ram him. Engines hot. Reporting failure, but I want you to actually focus the engines, cancel his movement. That's your command. Can you do something, or are you going to sit there and do nothing? Underway. Target locked in. Good work, you've actually killed him. You've impressed me. Yes, Admiral. Engaging. And why is his weapon destroyed? Did you get hit by a melted torpedo without me realizing? Orders received. Uh, you you can oh. Are you gonna get rammed? Oh, that's what's happening. Let's turn on the void shield and prevent any da further damage. Your orders. Changing course. Uh, that's the opposite direction I wanted you to go in, but that works well enough, because this guy's going to try to prowl lands. And with that, we're going to torpedo him for his ins for his insolence. We're going to front, aim at him, torpedo him at point blank. Then you can turn back to this. Wow, really? Do you just flat out ignore Underway. They just flat out ignored the fact that I had any defenders here. And these two are going to get trapped because stasis bomb. Engines to maximum. Yes, Admiral. Orders stasis received. bomb will go down eventually. Eventually. Prow, prow side as your lances are better. I need you to turn around and go after this one. This one is effectively near death. Effectively. Oh, you actually have missile. You have the torpedoes, correct? I mean, he's going to be right there. We might as well give him the best opportunity in the world, right? Enemy ship sighted. Good. Why did you we stop? I have not given you the orders to retreat ever. We keep hitting them until they are destroyed, and you keep going full speed ahead. Die for the Emperor, or die trying. Initiate emergency repairs. Cruising speed set. Okay, you can go back to the original macro cannon strategy because you don't have any lances to mess with. You, however, can go pro lance, and let's. Coordinates acknowledged. Shall we? All ahead full. Are you warping out? Excellent. Cruising speed. Everything is working out exactly as I had planned. Oh gosh. And he blew up right next to my own ship, but the ramming action worked. I didn't realize you could ram them into stations. Admiral, I have a recovery team combing through the enemy wreckage to reclaim the Hand of Darkness. You are to be congratulated for keeping this artifact out of Abaddon's grasp. But wait, what about the other ship that warped out? Should they not be allowed to do that? You know, he, he kind of got away. That is kind of important. You gotta realize this. Uh, furthermore, I'm also happy I'm finally getting the bloody hand of this. Pun fully intended. Now let's go see what else they have to say. Perhaps I'm actually going to get some praise for a victory well deserved. Admiral Spire, you've done it. The Hand of Darkness has been seized from a Chaos Vessel and transferred into my keeping. You must escort my ship out of the Purgatory System, so that we may reach Port Moor and secure the Artifact. Your conduct in the battle was exemplary, Admiral Spire. You've brought great honor to yourself, 
and the Imperial Navy. Unfortunately, I only had one deployment that time, so I can't exactly do much of anything else. But regardless, this brings an end to this episode of Battlefleet Gothic Armada. Hope you've all enjoyed watching this been Brain Boy 20 with Let's Play the Game. And I hope to see you all next time. If you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, or subscribe for it helps a great deal. And any tips are appreciated. Anyway, farewell.